Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Jawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon his arrival in the country on a fraternal visit to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of their Highnesses and senior officials were also at the reception. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa discussed with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the brotherly relations between the two countries and the ways to develop joint cooperation in all fields to achieve their mutual interests. During the meeting which took place at Sakhir Palace, His Majesty the King welcomed His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, wishing His Highness continued health and happiness and further development and prosperity for the United Arab Emirates and its people. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed also exchanged congratulations on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan. During the meeting, they exchanged cordial fraternal conversations that expressed the deep-rooted historical relations that unite the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE and the common desire to strengthen them, to serve their mutual interests and meet their aspirations for progress and development. They also discussed a number of Gulf and Arab issues and developments on the regional and international arenas were exchanged with the views on the situation. His Majesty the King affirmed his pride in the solid brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, which are embodied in the common positions of the two countries on various issues following the approach of the fathers and grandfathers and the honorable stand of the United Arab Emirates towards the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people through various stages expressing his thanks and appreciation to the UAE 
for its supportive stances to the Kingdom of Bahrain through various stages and the support it provided at all levels. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed stressed the importance of moving forward in strengthening the paths of joint cooperation in various economic, commercial and investment fields. In addition to the need to work on building the outstanding achievements in the course of the distinguished relations between the two brotherly countries and expanding the horizons of joint cooperation between the private sector in the two countries in vital fields with economic returns and to explore opportunities to develop joint cooperation in the fields of technology, science, energy, renewable energy, environment, health and education to meet their common aspirations and goals. During the meeting, they also discussed support for joint Gulf action within the framework of the Gulf Cooperation Council March for everything that would confront the various current challenges based on the unity of history, the goal and the common destiny in order to achieve good progress and prosperity for the citizens of the GCC states. They also stressed the importance of Arab unity and concerted efforts to achieve the Arab solidarity and strengthening the process of joint Arab action to meet the aspirations of our our people to achieve security, stability and prosperity. يقول ابوي اللي يتجم المبادي وصل يا ناصر لبو خالد مقالي يقول سلم لي على اللي مساعيه تشكر وتحمد بعد رب الجلالي محمد اللي بالكرم من يجاري قد وتكرم للناس فول وتالي اقدره واحفظ وقاره وداري واقول هذا اللي رفيق موالي اخاوي اللي ما يخلي مخاوي وانا معه في سلم ولا قتالي وعلم الوفاء والطيب 
ما ني بناسي يبقى معي في منزلي وارتحالي ونذكر شويمان وافخر بطاري وسلالته كنها من اغلى عيالي ورث الجدود نعز شانه ونحميه ونرقب تاريخه بروس الطوالي اهدوه جداني وانا صوبك اهديه ونرخص الغالي لجل عين غالي وما فيه شيء الا اوله مثل تالي من خلقة الدنيا اليوم الزوالي وسلام الله الله. His Majesty the King hosted an iftar banquet in honor of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid farewell to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon leaving the kingdom, during which he held talks with His Majesty the King, dealt with the deep-rooted fraternal relations between the two countries and prospects of enhancing joint cooperation in various domains. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of their Highnesses and senior officials. In an exclusive statement to the Emirates news agency WAM, the Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi stressed the importance of the close historical brotherly partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates and the progress and development it is witnessing at all levels in light of the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, for the development of good and prosperity for the two brotherly people. The Minister of Information praised the fraternal visit of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to the Kingdom of Bahrain, and his meeting with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the contents of discussion of all regional and international files and issues in a way that contributes to pushing the relations of the two brotherly countries towards broader horizons of integration and coordination in various fields. He emphasized the depth of the bonds of brotherhood between the two countries and the joint stances throughout the history of unity of purpose and destiny in line with the approach of parents, grandparents and an extension 
for the future generations. The Minister of Information stressed that this blessed visit confirms the common determination of the leadership of the two brotherly countries to strengthen national efforts and harness them to serve the two brotherly countries and people in all fields, welcoming on behalf of every Bahraini, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Hayyan in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Zainal, in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser received the Youth Parliament Book from the Speaker, issued by the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council. His Highness hailed the prominent role of the Representative Council and the Parliament's General Secretariat in highlighting youth projects and empowering them in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts of the General Secretariat in publishing the book. For her part, the Speaker, Zainal, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his support, noting that it contributes to strengthening the march of the youth and supports them. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani, met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud. During the meeting, they discussed the course of the close relations that bring the two brotherly countries together and ways to enhance joint cooperation between them at all levels to meet the aspirations of both countries and people. They also discussed the efforts being made to enhance Joint Gulf Cooperation Council towards broader horizons in order to achieve the aspirations of the citizens of the GCC countries for further integration and interdependence in addition to developments in the political and security situations on the regional and international arenas, as well as issues of common interest. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rajid Al Zayani, affirmed that the election of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Non Governmental Organizations Committee for the period from 2022 to 2026, during the vote that took place at the United Nations Economic and Social Council, reflects the international recognition and appreciation the Kingdom enjoys under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs noted that the achievement builds on the Kingdom's efforts in promoting respect for human rights at the national and international levels. He also added that the achievements mirrors the efforts of the Government of Bahrain and its integrated strategies headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in interacting and fulfilling international obligations and strengthening the foundations of partnership and dialogue with various countries to achieve continuous and sustainable progress in the field of human rights. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development, NIAD, has handed over 330 trees and shrubs to the Ministry of Education during a ceremony held at Al Hidayah Al Khalifiya School. They will be given to various schools in Bahrain under a drive to spread agricultural culture in schools, strengthen patriotism, instill environmental values among the students, and create a civilized generation aware of the importance of afforestation and the preservation and sustainability of environmental resources. The engagement of the schools as part of the Forever Green campaign consolidates the afforestation process in the educational institution, creates a healthy environment, reduces the effects of pollution and carbon emissions, and adds to school landscaping. Niyad Secretary General Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed her great pride in the continuous partnership with the Ministry of Education and in its endeavors to support the Forever Green campaign. The General Director of Schools Muhammad bin Muhammad Mubarak bin Ahmed praised the support that educational institutions receive from the initiative and Sheikh Maram's interest in involving school institutions within their afforestation programs and greening operations throughout Bahrain. The Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority, Muhammad Ali Al-Qaid, underscored that the Information and E-Government Authority is keen to achieve the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister by developing the level of productivity and continuing to provide government services in accordance with the highest standards of performance and quality. Al-Qaid stressed 
that the positive performance indicators achieved in the Tawassal and Binayat systems during the first quarter of 2022 came as a result of the success of the economic recovery plan related to the development of government services. He pointed out that the performance indicators showed that the total number of proposals, inquiries and observations received through the Tawassal system during the first quarter of this year amounted to 36,717 requests. Al-Qaid stressed that the Tawassal app represents a success story that enhanced the performance of the work of government institutions in light of the features provided by the system that facilitated the process of direct communication with relevant government authorities, institutions and bodies. And in regards to the performance indicators in the Binayat system, Al-Qaid explained that the number of requests for building permits submitted through the system during the first quarter of this year amounted to 766 requests, all of which were answered within the time specified in the service level agreement. The Ministry of Health recommends that all eligible citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain who wish to take the Valniva COVID-19 vaccine head directly to one of the administering health centers without the need for an appointment. The announcement follows the Kingdom receiving its first batch of the Valvina vaccine from France last month. The Kingdom of Bahrain is the first country in the world to authorize, receive and administer Valniva's COVID-19 vaccine which is produced by the European vaccine company Valniva. The vaccination was authorized for emergency use by the National Health Regulatory Authority and approved by the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Authority after it was found to meet the requirement, safety, quality and effectiveness standards. The Ministry of Health indicated that the list of health centers that administer the Valniva vaccine and the protocol for the first and second doses, as well as the booster shot, can be found on healthalert.gov.bh.